Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on today. I have something that I would like to share with you all. It's something that I wrote during the time that I, during the time of a breakup. Um, I was going through a very difficult and rough time and I wanted to share my heart with God. But it's true that God really does give us beauty for our ashes. And so what started out as me wanting to, I guess, cry over what had happened turned out to be a really nice love letter to God. So I hope you enjoy listening. God, I'm starting to see more and more all the things you do for me from the least to the greatest, and it all makes me fall deeper in love with you. I'm going through an extremely difficult time right now, but through it all, you have covered and kept me. You allow me to see glimpses of glory and where you're taking me. You're so awesome, God. I love how you can take things that the enemy meant for bad and turn it into something good for us. Again, so amazing. You did miracles long ago, parting the Red Sea, getting water from a rock, impregnating a virgin. They're all too numerous to name. However, God, you continue to perform miracles today, giving me something where there was nothing, allowing me to be shielded instead of attacked, giving me peace in, peace in times where I should have no peace. Again, too numerous to name. I truly love you, God. While I was dead in my sin, Father, you sent your one and only son to die for me. Jesus, you laid down your life for me. Who does that? Like Paul said, for a righteous man, one might dare to die. But I was not righteous when you died for me. But every day, I am so thankful that you did it for me, Jesus. You said that there is no greater love than to lay down your life for a friend. And I can definitely see that God, see that God because no one else has done this for me. You love me far beyond what anyone else ever could. So I first and foremost love you, God, because you first loved me. Then I love you for who you are, God. You are the great I am. You are the one and only true and living God. Therefore, you can be whatever or whoever we want you want or we need you to be. I love that when I'm lonely, I can come to the great I am and you say to me that I am your company keeper. When I'm lacking in any area, you say I am Jehovah Jireh and I see and provide all your needs. When I'm troubled in my mind or spirit, you say I am Jehovah Shalom. I am your peace and you're so much more, God. I can never tell it all. Thank you for teaching me more about who you are and about your power. You are amazing, God, and I absolutely love you. Thank you for loving me in times where I can be quite unlovable. Even when I fall short, you love me, covering me with your grace and extending your mercy towards me. Thank you, Lord, for loving me enough to not let me have everything I wanted or thought I wanted. I love the way you shield and protect me. Maybe not the way the way that you protect me, but the fact that you do it. I'm very thankful, dear Lord. I love that you're concerned with every aspect of my life, even the not so pretty aspects. You have shown yourself to be my Jehovah Rapha, healing me when I got my own, my own self into some mess. You have healed me physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Thank you, God, for restoring me. And even though I've been hurting lately, you are protecting me from future pain and positioning me in your perfect will. I'm so glad that your grace is sufficient for me to endure this pain. And thank you for the character you're building within me. I know this letter isn't supposed to be about me, but these are all the reasons why I love you so much. I thank you for choosing me, God, before the foundation of the world to be your very own. Thank you for giving me this time alone with you, for consecrating me, making me your very own masterpiece, recreated in Christ Jesus to do the good works you planned for me to do before the foundation of the world. I love the fact that you have great things in store for me. And I thank you for taking your precious time to prepare me for them. Another thing that I can't leave out Thank you that you are not a man that you should lie. I appreciate that so much, Lord. I love you, God, and I love the time we have been spending together. It has been truly amazing and fulfilling. God, help me learn more about who you are so I can fall even deeper and more madly in love with you, God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping me to write this letter, for I can do nothing on my own. 
I can't express how much I love you, God, but I hope this helps to give an idea. Love always, Candace.